Welcome back. In this video, I'll teach you everything you need to know about Staphylococcus aureus. The bacteria is gram-positive, which is why it's purple when staining. It is beta-hemolytic, which means when you put the bacteria in a blood agar, it will completely dissolve the blood. It is catalase-positive, which means that the bacteria has the ability to convert hydrogen peroxide into oxygen and water. The bacteria is also a coagulase positive, which means that it has the ability to form blood clots. The blood clot formed by Staphylococcus aureus is called staphylothrombin. The bacteria has two main antigens, either hemolysin, which the bacteria secretes to form the super antigen that causes the Staphylococcus shock syndrome, and it also has protein A. This is not secreted like hemolysin, but rather is a membrane component of the peptidoglycan layer. It prevents the attachment of immunoglobulins and the phagocytosis process. The bacteria is a normal flora of the nose and skin, mainly the folds such as the groin and axilla. The bacteria can literally cause any sort of infections, including skin infections, abscesses, pneumonia, endocarditis, arthritis, pretty much any other infection that you can think of. In certain scenarios such as hospitals, the bacteria is constantly exposed to antibiotics so much that it develops a resistance to this antibiotic. We call this strain of Staphylococcus MRSA or MRSA. MRSA is basically Staphylococcus aureus with altered penicillin binding protein. It is highly infectious and very lethal. The bacteria can cause Staphylococcus aureus shock syndrome, like we said, which is also known as toxin shock syndrome, which mostly presents after a prolonged use of tampons or nasal packing. Once the bacteria enters the blood, it will cause fever, severe vomiting and rash, and the hallmark is discomatization, which is the skin peeling off in the palms and soles. The discomatization occurs one or two weeks after the onset of symptoms. There will also be end organ damage, mainly in the liver, and of course this will present with altered liver function test. The bacteria can also cause the 4S syndrome, which is the staph scalded skin syndrome. And this is another global infection, mainly targeting the skin. So we expect to see more skin signs and symptoms like Nikolaski's sign, and painful skin blisters. However, this mainly affects young children and infants. The bacteria can also cause food poisoning, and the mechanism is by excreting toxins on top of the food, and once the patient eats the food, they will basically ingest the toxins that have been preformed and pre-excreted. So the toxins are not produced inside the body, but rather outside on the food and the onset of symptoms would be very rapid, often two hours all the way to six hours after ingesting the food. And this is the hallmark that differentiates food poisoning caused by staph compared to other food poisoning co caused by other bacteria. And that's all about Staphylococcus aureus. Alright guys, that's all I have. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully this helped.